So you might be in a situation where you're waiting to go ahead and basically use your iPhone as a camera or a webcam for your Mac. Now, doing this is actually pretty basic and it really doesn't take too much time. But the very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have an iPhone XR or newer that's running iOS 16 or above and your Mac is running macOS Ventura or later. So keep that in mind. They both also have to have the same exact Apple ID inside of it, and the iPhone orientation needs to be locked or in the landscape orientation with its rear camera facing you. So nothing can be covering that front camera. If you have a mount, you can put a mount on your particular device as well. Now, to get started with this, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over into your iPhone settings. So open up your iPhone settings application, click on general, click on airplay and handoff, and you want to make sure continuity camera right there is enabled. Now what you want to do there, as long as continuity camera is enabled and it's near your Mac, what you want to do is you want to open up a compatible app on your Mac. So you can go ahead and open up FaceTime, Zoom, Google Meet, anything like that you want to go ahead and open. So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your camera source for your particular Mac. So you should be able to find it and you can go ahead and change that camera option. There should be a way to kind of change camera options. You want to change that camera option from it being from your webcam, your internal webcam to your iPhone. So it's going to take some time to find that particular source on your Mac, like where that camera is or that where that camera toggle is on Zoom, Google Meet, all these ones, it's going to be different. So try to find it. And then your Mac should automatically recognize and see that your iPhone has a camera option and it will automatically switch to it when you click on it. So it is pretty cool. It's really awesome. Just make sure that you're logged into the same exact Apple ID. Make sure you have everything kind of synced all across. But after that, you're pretty much good to go. And that's pretty much all I'd recommend doing. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.